Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So this is the new Bolo Buddies mascot. We do not have a name yet. We will have a name, hopefully soon. And hopefully one of you guys will be naming this gal or guy. I don't know what it is yet because it doesn't have a name. Um, yeah, it's an owl. I love owls and I'm like, I need a mascot. So this is the mascot. And if you go to my Easter Bolo Buddies video, that is where everybody is going to pick a name, the name they like best. So go check out my Bolo category video, the Easter video, and look at all the different names that were picked out for this owl. Hopefully there'll be a bunch. All right. So I have a Bolo category video for you guys, and it is a plush item, but not this type of plush. So you guys know, you've heard me talk about it before. It's an item that I love to sell. However, I happened upon this tonight when I was doing my research for my Easter Bolo video. And I was like, oh my goodness, I have sold these before and they did not sell for that much money. So for some reason, this item is trending right now. I have no idea why, but they... it. I looked through solds and it's crazy. So let's get started. I'm going to share with you what it is. Um, let me get my screen share up. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. These are Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can typically buy low at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, and sell high or for a decent profit. Mini. Boyd's Bears. You guys know that I pick up Boyd's Bear plush all the time and many of you think that I'm crazy and many of you think I can't believe she sold another Boyd's Bear, but they do pretty good for me. Um, I usually pick them up for a dollar or less. I will not overpay for them. I don't pay five dollars for them, usually a dollar or less, but these little minis, they're about this big and I have maybe this big. I have sold these multiple times in the past. I always pick them up. They are tiny, but they are mighty. Well, they are very, very, very mighty right now. No clue what's going on. Look at this. $149.90. And he's upside down. Yeah. Yes. How crazy is that? So this person, let me go into their feedback. Boyd's. And they are selling a bunch. Now, you can see the prices range. They're all minis, but 25, 40, 52, 51, 51, 31, 149. This one got paid for 38, 29, 111, 81 dollars, 51 dollars, 59 dollars, 89 dollars. You guys, this is no joke. These mini Boyd's Bears and where this person got all of them, who knows, but how lucky was that? A keychain for 85. So let's keep talking about this, all right? Don't go away yet. I got more info for you. Unbelievable. This one is a trick or treat, which we all know that trick or treat items, you know, Halloween, people like Halloween. This one sold for 111. It's the Boyd's Bear mini dog. A great keyword would have been Halloween, trick or treat, definitely could have put more um, keywords in the title. $111.90, 128 bids, you guys. Bestest friend, keychain, $85.90, unreal. This one's the Boyd's Bear Mini Mousarella, $122. Again, same seller. I don't know why these are trending right now. If anybody knows, please let me in the know in the comments because I tried Googling it. I couldn't find anything. Um, this is an upside down bear, friends forever. These are all the same seller. So this seller really hit the jackpot with finding these. And again, they are very small. And um, I've sold them in the past and they do sell quickly, but I did not get anywhere near these prices. And when I looked up comps, they were not comping out this high. So something is going on. This one sold for $89.31. Kisses to You sold for $51, which is still $51 for a little plushie. Crazy. 
bear hugs, 8127 on this one. So the little shirts typically have a saying or a picture on them and they're really small. Just believe $59 mini JB. Uh, oh, what's the J stand for? I think B stands for bean. Uh, let's see if they put it down here. No, they did not. And their descriptions, they don't have much of one. Uh, they don't really need one, I guess. The head bean. So, uh, Hope, Mini Hope Bear, $56. $134.49, Mini Message Bear. It says, thanks. Crazy, right, you guys? This is crazy. I don't understand. The bigger ones are not going for this much. It's just these minis. Daisy. That's not how you spell Daisy. So it's uh, Daisy and Boyd's are both spelled wrong. I'm so confused. Yeah. Yep. 110 bids. Sorry, my computer's doing that. Uh, seven unique bidders. And let's see. And they know how to spell it because they've sold a bunch. So 50, 20, 10, 13, 15. Um, these are not all Boyd's Bears. Let's type in bear since there was a typo with the title. Um, not seeing... Not seeing that one. So maybe it got paid for. Maybe it didn't. Let's do this. Let's do view items for sale. I wonder if they caught it or if they did not. Let's type in D-A-S-I-Y. Is that right? How they spelled it? See, they spelled it right here. Let's go into their solds. Yeah, I don't even see it in their solds. Oh, it auto-corrected. D-A-S. No, D-A-I. How did they spell it? I can't remember. I can't remember how they spelled boys either. Ah! Let's just do bear highest first. There it is, 212. See if it's anywhere else. I mean, they've got a lot. I don't see it. Who knows? I don't know if that one got paid for. This one is the Boyd's Bear, your number one, sold for $199. $100.99. I'm sorry. Boyd's Bear mini message, Bear Care, says hugs on the front, sold for $228. Let's see. Let's look. Boyd's. Again, it seems like people like sell these. They sell a bunch. Here's one that says Longenberger Picnic Treasure Basket sold for 46. 285 right here. Weber Duck. Wow. 5288. Let's look at that one. Um Give us an idea. This is not, um, this isn't a mini plush. This is uh, the resin. I think they're resin little figures. And I, I don't do very great with these. They're hard to sell. But maybe that one was special. I don't know. Let's keep going. Get well soon. $92. Crazy, right? Look at this. Boyd's Bear mini plush duckle buns. And this is the one that I saw in the Easter video where I started digging into these. I'm like, no way it sold for $260. And then I did this and I'm like, yep, it sold for $260. And this one sold for $255. This one sold for $95. And this person didn't look up comps and sold it way too low for $7.99. So you guys, it's always a good idea to have search like keywords in. Look at this one, mini Easter kisses, 153. Because there's people that will list items and they won't search comps. But look at this one, it went for 1095. Is that the same one? No, it's different. 
Wonder why angel buns didn't go for as much. This one went for $39.99, $255. This one only went for $33. That's a keychain. We're going to dig a little deeper. Let's keep going here. This one sold for $152. You did it. This little duck, Weber duck, sold for $285. And you can see a bunch of different $228. And again, there's a lot that are bread and butter, but there are a lot of high dollar ones. This one with the carrot on his shirt sold for $255. The little daisy ornament, $192. You did it, $127. $152 for that one. Another flower, another carrot for $370. Okay, so I am under auction number of bids. And I'm going to add the word mini here. And we are under the most bids first. So let's just kind of take a peek. These are auction style with the most bids. 520 for the three here. Kisses, 110. This one only went for $29.99 only. I mean, it's this big. That's still great. And again, I picked these up at garage sales for like a buck. A dollar. 192 on that one. Wow. I'm just amazed. This was a great deal. 170 for all of those. All right, let's do this. Let's go to number of Bids fewest. $22, $22, $16.99. These are still the mini Boyd's Bear. Those are what are trending right now for some reason. That one's a little bit different. I wouldn't call that a mini. That one's a little different. These all have one bid, but they're still going for big, big money. Look at that one. It's a little cow. That is so cute. 65 that was a great deal look at the little christmas trees those only went for 24.99 500 yeah i don't know what's going on guys i can't explain it but um even at 29.99 that's still i think fantastic i don't know why these went so low somebody didn't catch it again maybe it depends on the year they were made if they're vintage if they're newer if they're retired but definitely, if you see these, look them up and price them accordingly because, wow. Pretty cool, right? So again, one thing I really like about my YouTube channel is that I do a lot of research um, for the category videos. So I did the Easter video, and from that, I learned more about Squishmallows and I learned more about these Boyds and definitely going to be on the lookout. Um, I am going to do a video on the Squishmallows because I think there's a lot of information that you guys need to have on those. Um, that one's going to go on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So definitely go over and check out that video if you guys um, did not see it already. I know a lot of you guys are already subscribed over there, but if you're not, definitely go hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell. That will alert you when I post new videos. But those are my sourcing videos. But from now, from time to time, I'm going to do some what solds. I'm going to do some category videos. I have a really great Pyrex video over on that channel. Um, definitely check that one out. That's another one where um, the prices just can be all over the place and it's really difficult to search comps. The Squishmallows are the same way. And in that video, I share with you guys some of the ones with the high comps, the high solds, but also um, it can be very deceiving um, when you're searching comps. So be very careful. So I kind of teach you how to dig deeper to find out what is really selling and what is not. Um, another thing with the Squishmallows are um, there's a lot of low feedback buyers in that category. So um Check out the video. I go over a lot of that stuff over there. But um, yeah, this was a major surprise. And I'm wishing I still had mine because I probably sold them way too cheap. They were not trending at the time. 
I don't know how long they're going to be trending. So um, just look them up and be careful. Don't overpay. If somebody's charging $10 for one, please take the time to search comps because that particular one might not go for any more than $10. But as you can see, there are a lot of them going for a lot of money right now. So um, definitely trending. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Go check out my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies uh, YouTube channel. If you haven't already, uh, be sure to subscribe. And um, if you're new here, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one.